fabulous. We're having the funnest time ever. I love being at the PE. Where should I be looking? <laughs> Have you met lots of nice people? <laughs> There's men here. She Some of them are married. She's always <laughs> hugging. All of the individuals at the fair, about families, young at heart, young kids, it doesn't matter what age you are, come down here. There's something we'll for everybody. You. We'll give we'll a hug you. That's all for the hugs. Are you hearing any potential uh, candidates to replace Tom Bricker over here? Oh, you guys are screwed. Seriously. We're done. It's cool at 19 degrees in Vancouver. Here's what's making the news this hour. Former Premier Bill Vanderzam and his group Fight HSD have won the court challenge. The Peony celebrates 100 years of fun with a big name, big name concert schedule and the return of the parade. And now into the sports center. Seven. Serena Williams withdraws from the U.S. Open, and the Red Sox put Petroya back on the disabled list. Sports at 15. CKWX News Time, 7.20. Oh, that was great, guys. Uh, a lot of good voices. Some people even doing two voices for the newscast. Two voices? I am responsible for all the animals in the barn, and all the shows that go on in the ice room. We are competing with draft for the Long hours? Very long hours, especially during 4-H. Those kids are up at 5 a.m., and so are we, and they're not to bed until like 11.30, so we're up until 12 or 1 at least. Now, what kind of animals do you have? Ah, uh, we have pretty much everything from your tiny, teeny, tiny little chickens to the giant oxen that we feature down in the barn, Zorro and Zelda. Well, right now we have Jay Bath. He's the head technician for the Wooden Roller Coaster. Thanks for being with us tonight. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been working here for 15 years now. Really? And where, well, how did you get into this this game? Uh, a little bit of luck and uh, a little bit of skill. We were talking earlier. There was a neat story how one of the people who built it or designed it, you could, well, not you personally, but they could hold out a phone. And just by what he heard over the phone, he knew what was wrong with it. Yeah, that was the lead construction man uh, named Walker Leroy. And uh, he lived down in Oregon. And uh, anytime we would have a problem with the roller coaster, uh, you'd be able to call him up on the telephone and uh, basically let him listen to the noise. And he would help uh, diagnose our problems for us. Isn't that amazing? Well, it's Tom here, and I have Tracy Shaw, who's the manager of guest services, along with uh, some of her co workers, George, Joel, and Steve. And I guess of any department of the fair, you are really working closely with the public. We are. We do a lot with the public. We're in charge of gates and admissions. We have three booths on site for guests to come and give us any suggestions or if they have any questions or concerns or need directions. And we've also got the Kids Center Parent Center on site where parents can come and get a diaper if they forgot it or nursing mothers can have some privacy. And we also help reunite families that have been separated. I have John Earnshaw with us tonight. He's the head of the Backstage Bistro, the head chef and sort of the creator, if you will, of this new concept? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Tell us about it. How did you come up with the idea? This is the first year for it, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's our first year, and it was the, um, we thought it was a great opportunity to give people a like, dining experience and to see a band experience, including reserved seating and a uh, great meal. Mentioning the menu to me before, talk to me about the main courses. What are those? Uh, the main courses we have a, for the vegetarians, a mushroom pie, which comes with fingerling potatoes and some French beans, and it's in a rich, creamy sort of sauce in a little pastry shell. Um, followed by a um, AAA um, New York sirloin with a um, sort of North American European sauce with mashed potato. And um, we have Australian barramundi, which is a, like a sort of twist of art, something exotic. And it comes with a giant guacamole and a tortilla chip and a corn relish. And it's similar to Snapper you were saying, right? So people shouldn't be afraid of it. Not at all. And it's just bringing something over that's yeah. just being exported now out of Australia to here. And it was brought to me by a supplier. I thought it was a great opportunity to uh, bring it to BC. Yeah. Well, right now I have Patrick Urikar. He's the manager of ticketing. And I guess, first of all, what does that entail? Anything and everything you think about tickets. Uh, we work in a large group here, uh, but on a daily basis right now with the fair, it's making sure everyone can get into the fair. Uh, we're ma making sure that we can sell tickets on site, whether it's your gate pass to come in or your ride ticket when you want to go into the ride later in the night. Now this is kind of interesting. It's a family affair for you. First of all, you started here when you were young, didn't you? I did. I started when I was 14, taking tickets and ripping tickets at the front gate. That's when we actually used to rip tickets, and now it's all scanned and computerized. But it was a little bit different back then. Now you mentioned girlfriend here. I did. We've been together for three years. And we met here just working here in the summer. And you have another connection. You actually got your dad a job here. I did. I got him a job here going back a couple of years ago when he was looking for something part-time. And now he's made it into a fun fair for himself. And he's made a lot of friends and just does it for fun.